What's going on, CMZ? This is your boy, Gammy. Tony has sent me a uh, PM asking how to use stereo mode. So I figure I'd show you guys the little bit that I've learned already. Um, you notice in the thread uh, for Black Ops that Yikes was looking for a video. And as always, I want to give back to you guys and, you know, just do what I can to make you guys happy since you've been helping me out. And um, true to my word, I'm going to make Yikes video and in the process show you guys what I do to do it. So that way, if, you know, you feel like goofing around, you can duplicate it. Anyway, you go to um, the PlayStation Network, you go to Theory of the Mode, like always. From this screen, you can only see your recent games. But if you notice on the bottom right corner, you can click on uh, triangle for the friends list. So if you want to do your games, you just go to my recent games like this. If you want to do your friends, which is what I'm doing, you click triangle. And I'm going to click on yikes at the bottom. Uh, hit X for view player card. And if you're on your own screen, you can go to recent games. Since I'm on yikes, I'm going to go to his recent games. And then you just pick a game that you want. You notice on the right, it says date and time, the length, the kills and the deaths, things like that. If you find one that you like, you click on it. If you want to see it first before you do anything, you click on select for playback. If you want to save it, you click on place in my file share. I don't know where the hell that's saved. It might be on the hard drive. It might be on Treyarch servers. I have no clue. It's probably on the server since it says downloading every time you want to look at it. But again, I'm just being honest. I don't know where the hell it goes. So anyway, I've already picked a few matches that um, I saw that Yikes played that I liked. When I picked them, I just picked place in my file share located right here. Once you do that, you will go back out to this screen again. You will, whoops, went too far back, sorry. Um, yes, my file share right here. You just click on that. These are the six save slots that Treyarch gives you. So, if, you know, anything here won't get deleted, um, but you only have six spots. Any match that's not saved in here gets deleted after you play 100 matches. So, you know, once you hit 101, 102 matches, they start kicking them out. You know, or um, I think the, the time limit is like five or seven days. I forget. I'm sorry. Um, I just know it's like at least five days. Again, once it reaches um, past the time limit, they start deleting them suckers. So keep that in mind. If it's a game you really, really like and you play a lot of games, save it. Um, otherwise, make sure you just don't play 100 games or that you get back to what you were doing before the time limit runs out. So in the first spot, I have a game that Yikes and Toki Dog were playing on Radiation. I'm going to click it. It says select for playback um, or edit info. Edit info is like edit the title and personal notes. I don't want to edit shit right now, so I'm just going to go select for playback. And then I'm going to do start film. And I have nothing funny to say, so I'm just going to let this load. Hopefully you don't fall asleep. So first thing first, hit the X button. Um, again, hit the X button. You might not have heard me because the music was loud. I say that because if you can see well enough, um, it's focused on some dude named Sam889. Even though this is Yikes video and I went to his file and saved it and all that, for some reason Theory of Mode thinks Sam is a cool dude and he doesn't really care for Yikes. So first thing you do is hit X to pause it. Hit the L1 or R1 buttons that will let you change the viewpoint. Again, there's no rhyme or order to it. It just so happens that Toki Dog is the first when I hit L1. Yikes is second. Um, while you have the, the HUD or controls up, I'll go through the rest of the buttons. If you hit L3 or left joystick, that will get rid of the controls. You know, so that's pretty cool. However, if you are going to edit your clip like I'm about to do, leave the controls up because once you save the whole thing and then record it on your camera, you can take the controls off right then and there. So for now, you can leave it up. 
once everything's to your liking, just hit L3 to get that out the way and that way, you know, it won't take up some of your screen space. If you hit circle, that takes away the mini map and um, what the score and your ammo, you know, so that's what that does. Um, the triangle button goes from first person to third person. And you know, the camera's pretty much fixated around yikes, but you can do 360 degrees, you can go down, you can go up, things like that. If you hit triangle one more time, that's free camera roam. So you can do anything under the sun at this point. You know, um, like you can go way up here and then look down at everybody and zoom in, stuff like that. Um, one thing that you gotta remember though, if you're doing free camera roam, is that this thing does not go through stuff. What is stuff? It won't go through a door, it won't go through um, a wall or anything like that. And damn it, it won't even go through glass. There's a, a clip in here that I'm going to shoot where Yikes gets this guy through some glass, which looks really cool. And when I was trying to shoot it in free room, I got pissed because the damn camera won't go through the glass. So I had to go down the stairs and then fly through the air like a freaking, you know, retarded ghost that can't go through glass. So anyway, keep that in mind when you're doing your clips. So uh, L2 lets you rewind. You can't rewind frame for frame. Um, for some reason, theater mode chops the video up in pieces. So again, when you rewind, it's gonna skip, you know, 10 seconds, 20 seconds, however it happen to chop it up. Um, hitting the X button is to play and pause at the same time. Hitting square will record. So when you find a clip that you wanna upload or that you like, hit square and hit record. If you hold the square button down, it'll actually make a screenshot. I haven't really messed with that since I'm doing YouTube. You know, I, I don't really need to take a picture. So that's that. Um, the R2 button, if you hold it down just a little bit, it'll do slow motion. And I'll show you that right now. So there's Yikes. If you hold it down just a little bit, notice, you know, you can make them walk really slow. If you hold it down a lot, you speed up like holy hell. You know, stuff like that. And again, notice when I hit L2, it just jumps back scene to scene to scene. So keep that in mind, you know. So now what I want to do is show you um, how to make some kick-ass camera angles. Um, I'm going to zoom into that part I was telling you about earlier where Yikes shot this guy through the glass, which is right here. Um, I'll show you what it looks like in regular speed. So I don't know if you can see that through the glass, but it was pretty damn hilarious. At this point, I hit the X button to pause the game. I'm going to hit triangle to go to third person first. I'm going to hit triangle again to go to uh, free mode. Notice I can't get through the fucking glass. It's pretty hilarious because I'm a ghost that can't go through glass, but I can go through here. Pretty cool, yeah. All right, so anyway, um, I'm gonna go over here. I'm going to hit the L2 button. You see it scoots them back. Um, however, uh, Theater Mode has chopped this video up. And then when I find an angle I like, I can just hit the X button. Now keep in mind, um, when you're when you, when I have all this sorted out and I'm actually making the video, I would I would hit the square button to record. So even though I'm recording on my camera, I just do a dry run. The camera's off. I do everything in Theater Mode and hit the record button. So um, let's say the match starts, I immediately hit record. I let the damn thing play until Yikes gets over here and then he shoots this dude. And once he shoots the guy, I'm going to hit the square button to stop recording and then I'm going to hit X to stop the gameplay. Then I'm going to move the camera over here and set up the camera. And then I'm going to hit X for play and then I'm going to hit X for record. And this is what you'll see um, on the finished video. No clue what this guy's doing, but it's going to be pretty funny in like three seconds. Ah, yikes. Hit him in the head. So anyway, I hit uh, X again. You know, that pauses the gameplay. And you just keep from there. You know, um, if you want, you can move the camera back over here. 
um, you can go back to first person view third whatever and again when you're all set and go hit X to you know continue the gameplay and then hit record to uh, you know make sure you're recording that gameplay um, just as an example when you do that like for now I'll hit play I'm going to hit square for record oh shit it does not usually do that what the fuck something will go wrong when I'm recording on the camcorder oh I held the button down too long so it, it thought it was a screenshot no I don't want no damn screenshot so just tap the button remember that and you see now the little record light is blinking and when you're done tap it again you see it says name segment or name as and then review I'm sorry preview and discard so when you name the segment I just name it seg1 seg2 or just one two three it doesn't really matter just don't name it the same thing name as is if you're really lazy the game picks a name for you it does kill one kill two death whatever um, if you don't like the way it came out you can discard it and if you want to see it first hit preview but if you're okay with everything just hit name segment and again I'll just put three hit start and then it saves it hit X again to continue hit square again to record again yikes is um waiting for somebody to come through there so he can light them up so I'm gonna do a 360 view I'm going to hit record again name segment uh, seg or seg 5 well that's SE 5 okay no G whatever and now I have my two segments and let's say that's all I want to do you know that's my whole video you would um, hit start you would hit upload clip then you would hit continue and I'm gonna choose a slot number six because I know nothing saved there your clip was successfully uploaded and then I'm going to go to end film and I'm gonna wrap this up soon because I know there's a 15 minute time limit on YouTube so anyway you go to my file share the sixth spot is the stuff that I just did with Yikes video you want to click on it you're going to go to select for playback and then you go to go to start clip and this is the part where crew would say something funny or super soldier but like piece of shit but I don't have nothing funny to say so anyway this is the two clips that I made of Yikes. And voila. Voila, however you say it. So um, now I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of Yikes' video. Um, it actually freaking looks like it didn't upload the, uh, the first clip that I made of them. Oh, that's because I didn't hit the record button. Whoops. Anyway. That would be how you do it though, you know, so at least you have the basics down and you're, you're kind of familiar with what to do. Um, excuse me. So that way if you want to make your own videos with your, um, with a particular camera angle, you can do so. But again, if you just don't have the time, you know, like I said, let me know. I, I really enjoy it. Um, you guys help me out so much. And I just think it's fun that I can see, you know, your games because it goes without saying without fear the mode you guys have tons of great games going on and I don't really get a chance to see them and watching this game in particular I had a blast laughing at some of the stuff Vice and Toki Dog did so you know anyway that's it for me hope this thing was helpful if you have any extra questions just let me know um, I try to find out the answer as best I can um, peace